In one of the lectures of this course, if you remember, I told you that when we send a response from our backend application, it's us backend developers who is responsible for setting the status code as well as the header for that response. Currently, what is happening is when we send a request to our server, so here let me open the developer tool. Let's go to this network tab. And here, when I make a new request, you can see that a request has been sent. If I open this request, and if I go to headers, here we have some request headers. Okay. But if I open this response headers, here we don't have much information. And these response headers which you see here, these are created by default. Now it is possible to set some response header from our backend application. And that's what we are going to learn in this lecture. And also, if I make the request again, here you can see for this request, the status code is 200. That means the request was sent successfully and we got the response. But if I type, let's say, localhost slash services, we are not handling this route in our application. If I press enter, you see for this request also, we are getting the status code as 200. In the web page, we see page not found error. But here in the status code, we are seeing the status code as 200. That's because this 200 is the default status code. If from our backend application, we does not set the status code explicitly, by default, the status code 200 will be used. But for the page not found error, the status code should be 404 and it should not be 200. So we are also going to learn how we can set the status code in a response. So let's get started. Let's go to VS Code. And here, before sending the response, on this response object, we can call a method called write head. So we can use this write head method to set the status code and the header for the response. And keep in mind that you should always set the header and the status code before sending the response. This line should always come before response.end method. Now, the first argument of this write head is the status code which you want to set for that response. Here, we want to set the status code as 200. Let's do the same thing for other requests also, for other routes also. So before sending the response, we are going to set the status code as 200. But here, for the default route, instead of setting the status code as 200, we are going to set the status code as 404. That means resource not found. So keep in mind that this 200 status code stands for success. But this 404 status code stands for resource not found. With this, let's save the changes. Let's stop the server by pressing Ctrl C and let's restart the server by running this app.js file. Let's go to the web page and let's make a new request to this root URL slash services resource. Now, this services resource is not available in our node application. We are not creating any route for this services, right? So here, if I make a request to this URL, you will see that now we are getting this status code 404. That means resource not found. But if I make a request to root URL slash home, this resource we have in our node application because we have created a route for this root URL slash home. So in that case, we are getting this status code as 200. In the same way, if I click on this about link, there also we are getting the status code as 200. But if I click on this products link, since we have not defined any route for these products, we are getting this 404 status code. So this is how we can set a status code for our response. Now, we also want to set some headers. The header of a response contains some additional information about the response. For example, what type of response we are sending to the client, at what time the response was sent and so on. And to define a header for a response, we can pass an object as the second argument. And here we can define some headers. So here, let's say we want to specify a header called content type. So this content type header tells what type of content we are sending in the response. In our case, we are sending an HTML response. So here the content type will be text slash HTML. Okay, so this information here will inform the client that the response which the client is receiving, that response is containing an HTML content. And in this way, you can set other headers as well. Now you can also create your own custom headers and you can set a custom header for the response. For example, let's say I want to set a custom header. I will call it my header and I will assign this custom header with the value hello world. 
so this is also possible if i save the changes here let me go ahead and let me stop the server by pressing ctrl c and let's restart the server and if i go to the web page and here if i go to home page you will see a new request to this home resource has been made if i open this request now you will notice that here we are specifying this content type which is text slash html so we created this header on this request from our backend application from our node application and you will also see our custom header here which is this my header which is set with this value hello world so we also set this header for this response from our backend application from our node application okay so in this way you can also set headers for your response by passing a second argument which should be an object to this right head method and inside that object you can specify the headers as a key value pair that key must be wrapped within these quotes that's because in the header name we might also want to use this hyphen and if you know in javascript when we create a property and if that property needs to use some special character like hyphen or space in that case that property name must be wrapped within quotes and that's why here we are wrapping this property of this object within quotes because here in this name we want to use this hyphen let's go ahead and let's add this header for other responses as well so i will copy it from here and i will add the same header for other responses let's do the same thing for this 404 response as well all right so in this lecture we learned how to set headers and status code for the response which we are sending from our backend application this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day